What's going on guys, Arbolska back with another YouTube video. Now today we are going to talk about the Jarvi blocks that have been affecting us all for the last week. For those of you that watched the last video I did on Jarvi settings that got around the 6,000 actions per month follow limits and like limits, you've all probably started to experience blocks within the past week, I myself too. Now what we're actually dealing with here is an API block. But listen guys, before we get into the video, I wanna tell you that we are weeks away from my social media mastermind where I actually show you how to create and scale a digital marketing agency from zero to 100K a year. So if you're excited, for that if you want that kind of information i've linked below where you can sign up for the newsletter and as soon as it goes live you will receive that in your email and if you sign up for that newsletter and put your email address in there you will get special pricing options you will also get access to membership areas that aren't available for the people who haven't taken advantage of that so make sure you go down there click the link put in your email address and as soon as it goes live i will email you Anyways, let's get into the video. So what we are experiencing now for the past week is an API block. It has nothing to do with the settings I gave you last time. This is actually something that is on Jarvi's side. Now, what is an API? Without getting too deep into code, an API is an application programming interface. It's a software intermediary that allows two applications to talk to each other. So basically, API is the messenger that delivers your request to the provider that you're requesting it from. Now, from my last video, we switched to the API. The embedded browser is kind of risky, okay? You know, because you're going through a Chrome extension. And we couldn't really figure out what the actions per day was. And once we finally figured out it was a 6,000 a month follow and action limit, we started to use the API to avoid any risky actions we were doing through the embedded browser. Now, what's going on with this is Jarvi can't really figure out why we are having unsuccessful API calls. So if you have you know most of your accounts that are api blocked i have a temporary solution for you that will get some of them out now this isn't an end-all fix-all this is just to kind of keep your automation business running until jarvi can figure something out which you know they've released statements saying that they are going to have an update but the program is updated a few times within the past week and there's still been nothing on fixing this api issue so what i'm going to give you is a solution for some of your accounts that'll get you out of that api block and hopefully back and running again i have accounts that are running and i've noticed that some accounts still get action blocked through the embedded browser and some don't it could be aggressive settings but the fact is if we're doing five follows an hour you're not going to net that many results for your clients you know it's not worth it for clients to be paying you whatever price point you're providing if you're not giving them results so is it really worth it to just knock your stuff down to you know a couple follows an hour or just for the sake of not getting blocked you know i don't know on some accounts, I'm still successfully following the 6,000 a month follow and like limit, and I've had no issues. And on some, you know, they'll do 10 to 15 actions and get an action block. So nobody really knows what's going on right now, but I can provide you a solution that'll at least get you out of the AP block so you can get some of these accounts running again and then do a little bit of the customer service client control on your side. All right, so let's hop into the computer. I'm gonna show you how to get the accounts that you have API blocked out of the API block. And just before we start, know that every action you are trying to do on Jarvi equals one API call. And if you do a lot of API calls, Instagram might refuse it. And that's why people are thinking that, you know, we have these action blocks on Jarvi, but actually not on the client because Instagram has found a way to refuse the API call and block it that way. So, you know, it could have to do with aggressive settings, but if your accounts are running fine through the embedded browser, if you've already done this, don't change anything. If you found success in your settings, you know, share them below so that other people can get out of these embedded browser blocks once they've handled this whole API issue. So let's hop in the computer and let's get started. All right, guys, so we're loaded into Jarvi, as you can see here. Now, if we go over and click over to tools, you'll notice that I have two accounts up here that are running perfectly fine. Now, these are the accounts that I have been practicing these settings on just to make sure that, you know, everything's working. Now, I did have an account that's down here that got blocked, you know, after six actions. So this isn't a total fix. Some of these accounts are still going to get blocked through the embedded browser and it could be a settings issue. You know, nobody really knows the solution to this. So if you do have accounts that get blocked, play around with your settings, see, you know, maybe you were a little too aggressive, try to lower them down. So the accounts that do get blocked on the embedded browser, try to limit the actions that they're doing per hour or, you know, per day. That's going to be subjective. It's going to go off your own personal settings as well as how new the account is, how old the account is, how many actions the account's been forming in the previous days. So that's something that you're going to have to figure out for yourself. Now, how do we get some of these accounts that are API blocked back so they're working again through the embedded browser? Here's how you're going to do it. Now it's going to involve resetting the cookies on the account. So you're going to go to social profiles. Now what you're going to do first is you're going to make sure that all the actions on the account are turned off, which was, is right here in the social profile setting. So actions are off. Now you're going to go to the profile, which is going to bring you here. You're going to scroll down. You're going to show advanced profile settings. You're going to scroll down here. Now, these are the settings that we were running before. As everything's turned off, you're going to switch these settings. You're going to go up here. You're going to uncheck this, 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 and this. All right. Now, what I want you to do is recheck. Use only embedded browser to follow. And 
use only a better browser to like. Now we know that we can't do anything through the API, so we're not gonna set it up where if the API gets blocked, we're gonna switch to the embedded browser. We're just gonna run straight off the embedded browser, which is a little bit more risky. You know, if you have decent proxies, it kind of takes a little bit of that risk away. If you're running 4G proxies, that's optimal, but I'm still running proxies from high proxies and I haven't had an issue with proxies. So after you have these two things checked, I want you to go back to social profiles. I want you to check the profile that you are going to be doing this on. I want you to go down to actions on selected profiles. I want you to come over here to the right hand column, go down and select clear cookies. Clear cookies on the account. All right, now you're gonna to go to back to social profiles. All right, now you're gonna go down to tools. You're going to go to the account that you just fixed. You're going to click on that. You're gonna make sure that the follow and the like options are turned off. Everything that you're doing needs to be turned off. Go back to social profiles. Now, a lot of these accounts are going to need to be re-verified, all right? And some of them might not need to be re-verified, and I'm going to show you how to get around that right now. A lot of these accounts have been going through the API, not the embedded browser, so you're going to have to re-log these accounts in through the embedded browser. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So you're going to click down here. You go down here, you're going to click Browse. That's going to pull up the embedded browser. You're going to copy this information right here. Put in the password and click login. Now that's going to log the account in through the embedded browser. Now here's where you might get the challenge of we need to verify this login. So make sure you have your customer ready to give you the code so they can type the code in through the embedded browser. All right. And once you've verified that, log in, it'll log in through the embedded browser. You're going to close it. You're going to come down here. You're going to click verify account. Now it might challenge you again. If it challenges you again, just repeat the process through MP, which is this right here. Log in. Log in through the account, now bam, you're off API and you're into the embedded browser. So what you're gonna do after that is you're gonna to go to tools, you're gonna to go to the account, you're going to turn all the actions back on. Then when you come back to the tools section, I'd give it about 10, 15 minutes to do what it's gotta do, you know, reperform all the searches and your accounts will be off of the API block and they will continue to follow again. So make sure your Settings are super slow at first. Make sure you warm up these accounts a little bit because you will be performing actions again and you do not want to get action blocked through the embedded browser like you were the last time, okay? Now guys, this isn't an end-all be-all fix, but it will get around the API blocks and it will allow you to do actions again. Now some of these accounts might still get blocked. We're all waiting on Jarvi to update their software. If they do, that's great. If not, you know, we're going to have to figure out settings that work or we are going to have to experiment with other ways to automate these accounts. You know, follow on follow isn't the only way to grow. I've successfully been leveraging the DM feature, the story view feature, and using these two together to grow my account and to generate leads for my business. So listen, guys, I hope you found value in this video. I hope it helps you out. In the meantime, comment below if you have any information, even if you have a better way of doing it. Maybe I've forgotten something in this video. So, you know, add some value to the comment section. Help people out. I'll be down there checking in. Please click that like button. Go down there and hit that subscribe button. Turn the bell icon on so that you can stay tuned for future videos. And I will see you on the next one, guys.